So good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the next lecture held by Croatian lawyer Sonia Prestec. Welcome, Sonia. Welcome in Pearl Police. Uh, I think. Uh, so, so Sonia came from Croatia, as I said, um, and uh, she, in uh, during the last three years, Sonia collaborated with Liberland and okay. uh, BitNation projects. I think both of the projects are well known on this platform, both uh, repeatedly presented. So, I I will not go de in detail in this, but uh, what is going what is Sonia going to present this? Um, her set of experiences with those two projects, uh, experiences with creating a parallel legal ecosystem uh, that is not based on the state law. So uh, thanks one again, Sonia, that you came. And now you can start. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Uh, as you will see in the background, uh, this will be a pitch deck from BitNation. Uh, my topic will not actually be that I will be focusing, but the slide will go automatically, so you can follow and read. And uh, if you have any questions, I will do my best to answer, to my knowledge. Uh, so as uh, I have been announced, um, I've been working with Liberland for three years and uh, with BitNation for the last 14 months. Uh, Yesterday, I decided to uh, give my position as uh, chief legal officer in BitNation. So I will try to just explain what is my experience so far in both of the projects. So in 2015, uh, I applied for Lebanon when I read in newspapers. Uh, I was interested in the topic and uh, I saw that they are searching for legal help. And uh, as a volunteer, I offered uh, uh, <clears throat> to do whatever it's possible to uh, get this project uh, move forward. Uh, but we had, as you probably know, a lot of problems with Croatian authorities. Uh, and I had a lot of court cases, approximately 50 people uh, was arrested and uh, they end up in prison. And so I had to prepare their defense. And uh, from that on, now, uh, in the following years, uh, we are taking... Before nations, before borders, there was the Pangaea supercontinent. Since okay. then, the world has yeah. been divided by tectonic shifts, widening Let, oceans let's hear this and stifling first. politics. Nation states are crumbling under the weight of local and global challenges that they seem incapable of solving. Rather than embracing a borderless world and increasing personal freedoms, governments and multilateral organizations have overseen a surge in bureaucracy, protectionism and ever greater intrusions into our personal lives. To prevent a drift towards tyranny, we need drastic change. Pangaea is BitNation's decentralized jurisdiction platform. Using Pangaea, you can build voluntary nations, agree contracts, and resolve disputes with other citizens, and access the services you need. This is our vision of jurisdiction as a service, a global market for governance services. The Pangaea Arbitration Token, or PAT, is an Ethereum-based in-app token that powers the Pangaea platform. When you create a contract, complete a contract, or resolve a dispute on Pangaea, you receive non-tradable reputation tokens through Lucy, our AI bot. Accumulating reputation tokens earns you tradable PAT tokens. This ensures that you can't buy a good reputation or acquire it through popularity, but if you earn one, you will be rewarded. Imagine a world where people can freely choose which voluntary nations and jurisdictions they want to be part of. A world where voluntary nations offer a choice of services under their own laws and policies and compete for citizens in a free market that rewards good governance. You too can be part of the future of governance by joining the Pangaea token sale. Welcome to the Internet of Sovereignty. Welcome to Pangaea. We will come back to BitNation a little bit later. 
so as I started with Liberland, and in the first year, uh, as I already said, that people uh, were fined, and uh, there was a Liberland Settlement Association supported by uh, Bitcoin Swiss Switzerland, and they were organizing actually that people were intentionally trying to enter Liberland from different sides, some of them from the land side and some of them from the Nubi River. But uh, anyhow, we tried to approach territory, people were ended up in prison. And uh, my, uh, my uh, role was that I challenged uh, the court decisions. And uh, in the following year, the court, of course, uh, didn't accept our defense. And they just confirmed the decisions. And uh, now, after three years, uh, we came to the final stage uh, before constitutional court. And even though they were supposed to decide in February this year, according to Croatian regulations, they still didn't bring any decision and we cannot influence constitutional court. It is a very hard political question because actually a territory of Liberland is a dispute between Croatia and Serbia for the last 26 years. But there is a lot of uh, legal uh, questions that uh, arise in this case. Uh, and that was somehow contradictory because when people would be coming from the land side then they were uh, charged that they illegally entered Serbia and when they would come to the very same point from Danube River then they were charged that they illegally entered Croatia so based on this uh, very same territory was at the same time Croatia and Serbia so we asked court to define which country is it and we are still waiting for the answer but tomorrow with uh, will have his presentation, what is the progress uh, with Liberland overall besides uh, the legal fight that we are having. Uh, as you have seen our presentation, this is uh, for BitNation. This is part of the pitch deck uh, that was used uh, in the last year because BitNation uh, joined this uh, overall tokenization hype uh, and uh, we run token sale. Uh, during last year and partially uh, this year as well, uh, which was not so successful as many projects. Uh, but as you know, this year in April, Ether has dropped significantly and then somehow also it did influence uh, the funds that we raised. Though, <coughs> as I'm in general advising a lot of different projects uh, for their token sale, we can see really that there is a lot of scams and a lot of uh, project that somehow do collect money just putting whatever on blockchain and uh, even uh, it seems that uh, even vegetables on blockchain which collected 11 millions uh, is something that interests people more uh, than thinking about having some kind of alternative governance models uh, we have been criticized uh, from many people that it is utopian project and uh, of course, it's uh, very ambitious to think that uh, technology can replace governments. Uh, but here we are, and uh, there is a big team working on it uh, to te test and somehow explore if technology is viable enough to replace governments completely. Uh, uh, <clears throat> as, as we are hoping, that at certain point uh, it can be spread more uh, to some kind of mass adoption long term. But for now, I still think that people maybe are not mentally yet ready to accept uh, that, that this could be some kind of solution uh, to run their own life. And uh, questions that they're asking, like, so what can Pangea do for me and my existence? my uh, uh, relations with uh, any kind of services and, uh, and different answers and different user cases, of course, can be made because we are all using technology on daily basis for different stuff. And maybe we just have to open ourselves more to the idea that uh, you really can uh, do contracts with people, uh, that you can solve disputes, that you can have completely uh, crypto transactions and uh, smart contracts and that you can even have uh, marriage certificates or birth or whatever you want to do whatever now government is providing to you that you can have 
much more user-friendly in a way. Uh, one of our assignments uh, from me and my partner, who, is, who was also part of a legal team of BitNation, uh, was that we actually challenge existing jurisdictions uh, uh, with such actions. So that, for instance, if we make blockchain marriage, that you come to the regular tax office and that you ask for tax deductions and to see what will they say. Of course, uh, I don't expect that it will happen overnight that they expect, accept it. But uh, <clears throat> if you are not asking questions, if you are not trying to, to do it and to enter technology into these systems, it will never happen. And uh, this is, I think, uh, one of the main ideas that why Suzanne initiated this project three years ago. Um, I don't know how much actually you know about our progress. Uh, uh, now, we, in, within last year, uh, developers have built an application, which is still on the test flight in Apple Store and in a Google Play Store. And uh, we have every three weeks uh, adding new fun functionalities. Uh, for now, you can register your nation and you can join people to your nation and uh, soon you will be able to have some group chats and already a few smart contracts with the escrow uh, that you can uh, do with people and uh, in the following year uh, they plan to build arbitration systems and to create network of arbitrators. So I'm inviting people who don't know about BitNation to read a little bit more and uh, everyone is uh, invited to, to join the project in any way. Uh, especially since uh, a few of us left project uh, last week, so there is an open position for chief technology officer, uh, chief marketing officer, chief legal officer, uh, and uh, chief software architect. So just that you know that you can spread that uh, if people are interested uh, to join and uh, build BitNation uh, until we reached it uh, so far. Mm. If anyone has any questions, uh, I'm willing to answer. Thank you. Um, I have one. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to ask you uh, what are the experiences and how far is the development of a uh, dispute resolution system? And um, in both in Liberland and, and BitNation. And how far are you with the architecture of legal and software uh, implementation? And how far are you with the real practical experiences with some real disputes that appeared, and if, if there uh, were some? No, uh, the, uh, the apps are not at this stage of development yet. They, maybe there is now six months of full-time work on it. And it's slowly developing because uh, with Web3.0, of course, it's not so easy. And uh, there is a lot of experimental encoding. And, uh, but we have 20 people who are working full time on this. And I expect that maybe uh, next year we can see arbitration model here. Uh, what will be, how, how it will be based? Uh, what, what will be the architecture of the arbitration model? What is the um, inspiration for that? Well, it is a template for a smart contract which will have uh, the clause inside that you choose that uh, uh, from the list of arbitrators that will be able to register on Fungia. Mm -hmm. And that uh, at the beginning of uh, when you are creating contracts with people, that uh, in case of disputes that you uh, choose certain person that will solve your dispute. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, there is space for your Questions, please. Hi. Um, no. So, do you have to? Is, is like how privacy goes with BitNation with conflicts with arbitration? Because if it's all completely private and anonymous, then you don't know if the arbitrator is the same person that has the conflict. Uh, yes. Uh, we had a lot of discussion about uh, anonymous uh, arbitrators and how can they uh, be incentivized that uh, they don't fool the system. But this is why the Pangea arbitration token uh, was created so that uh, uh, you cannot uh, buy these tokens, you can earn them by resolving disputes properly. 
in a way it's a model that functions like we see it now on eBay or, on, or Amazon for, for buyers and sellers. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Another question? Uh, early in the talk, you mentioned the difficulty of uh, people who had refugee status or stateless status trying to cross borders. Um, in creating these virtual nations, is there a way to empower people to be able to move geographically more easily? Well, uh, we have also developed the passport program, which is for now uh, uh, on in the first stage of development as uh, diplomatic passports, which are completely compliant with Vienna uh, Convention on, on Diplomacy. Uh, <clears throat> and for maybe in the next period, uh, we will create a program, I mean, people who will take over the legal department, uh, how, to, uh, how to bring it closer to the organizations like UN who can give certain status of maybe laissez-faire so the people can use it for travel or at least to be treated as diplomats when they're trying to cross uh, the border. Uh, but uh, we don't know what will be the reactions. Of course, it depends on different jurisdictions and different countries. Uh, <clears throat> we would at least like that it comes to this level that is recogni recognized as laissez-faire in first stage. Other question, please? Thank you for the talk. Um, are you familiar with Kleros? Uh, it's a yes. dispute on Ethereum. Are you planning to integrate that, or what's the, the main differences with your uh, dispute resolution system? Uh, well, there were certain discussions with Kleros. Maybe that they will uh, develop on Pangea as DEP, because uh, uh, Pangea is a platform for DEPs, and anyone can build their own uh, uh, DEP or, and put it inside of Pangea to be available. Uh, <clears throat> the main difference, I think, uh, with Claro's uh, model is uh, with this jury. Uh, so we have arbitrator, which is like that you choose it, and I don't know how in Claro's they're actually defining the jury, which will be uh, helping you to solve the dispute. But probably there are a lot of similarities in the project. I don't know how far did they come. They just also finished ICO a few months ago, and uh, how far are they with the development? of the application. Thank you. We still have plenty of time, so mm -hmm. you can ask. Please raise your hand if you have any other question. If not, you can reach uh, Sonia afterwards, of course, mm -hmm. presently. Uh, I would like to thank you uh, for your presentation and uh, thank you that you came and participated on our Congress. And thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, since you got quite a lot of time, this presentation was shorter. I strongly recommend you to take a look at uh, this special uh, cinema uh, that is in this uh, black uh, igloo and uh, other presentation starts in 40 minutes here.